The official Russian legal information portal has published the government resolution establishing requirements for navigation equipment on piloted aircraft and unmanned aerial systems, UAS, manufactured in or imported into Russia before March 1, 2025. All such aircraft and drones must have GLONASS navigation systems by March 1, 2026. The Superjet 100 is an exception, as it has a delayed deadline of March 1, 2029. The resolution states, Navigation equipment for manned aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, that are part of unmanned aerial systems manufactured within the Russian Federation, which receive and process satellite navigation signals, must use signals from the Global Navigation Satellite System GLONASS. All aircraft in UAS must have two-way radio communication systems by March 1, 2026, in addition to navigation systems, to facilitate crew member and air traffic control service communication. This requirement is indispensable for avoiding accidents and the safe administration of air traffic. Additionally, all specified aircraft must have altitude and location monitoring systems to facilitate air traffic control supervision. Automatic dependent surveillance broadcast systems and traffic collision avoidance systems are also mandatory for aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight exceeding 15,000 kilograms, those powered by gas turbine engines, and aircraft with a passenger capacity of more than 30 people. Specific requirements differentiate UAVs based on their launch weight. Hardware and software must equip all drones to prevent flights in prohibited or restricted areas. In addition, remote identification systems, emergency flight termination systems, and onboard collision avoidance lights are required for larger drones. The resolution's technical specifications aim to ensure airspace control and enhance the safety of civil aviation flights. They require the integration of modern navigation technologies and standards in the operation of aircraft and UAS within Russia. In order to be compliant with current regulations, all systems must undergo the requisite certification processes. The question is, why did Russia rely on GPS instead of GLONASS in civil aviation? The narrative of Russia's satellite navigation challenges is a complicated tale that includes fiscal limitations, technological constraints, and geopolitical realities. The system was not yet capable of satisfying the rigorous standards of civil aviation when GLONASS was initially developed. In its early years, GLONASS consistently failed to meet the performance standards established by the American GPS system, which necessitates extremely precise positioning for precision navigation. Technical deficiencies rendered the satellite constellation unreliable for critical applications like commercial aviation. Economic challenges significantly delayed the development of GLONASS. Immediately following the Soviet Union's collapse, Russia encountered severe financial constraints that restricted its ability to make significant investments in satellite technology. The Russian government had difficulty allocating the requisite financing to bring GLONASS to a competitive level with GPS, as the maintenance of a global navigation satellite system necessitates substantial financial resources. This economic reality resulted in Russian civil aviation determining that it was more practical and cost-effective to rely on the extant GPS infrastructure. Further, the global aviation industry has already established a comprehensive ecosystem that revolves around GPS technology. Avionics companies, aircraft manufacturers, and navigation system producers had made substantial investments in GPS-compatible equipment. The complete transition to GLONASS would have required a prohibitively expensive and extensive revision of current aviation technologies. Standardized navigation systems are essential for international flight operations. A unilateral transition to a Russian-only system would have presented substantial compatibility challenges for Russian airlines that operate in the global market. The geopolitical landscape also influenced the selection of navigation technology. Practical considerations frequently prevailed over patriotic sentiment, despite the fact that GLONASS was a source of national pride. Russian airlines and aviation authorities acknowledged that the most cost-effective and dependable solution was to use GPS in conjunction with their own emerging technology. This method allowed them to maintain operational efficiency while gradually expanding the capabilities of GLONASS. In recent years, Russia has significantly accelerated the development of GLONASS, 
especially after the imposition of Western sanctions in 2014 and the subsequent years. The system has undergone a substantial improvement, now providing efficacy that is on par with that of GPS. Modern Russian aircraft have increasingly employed hybrid GLONASS GPS navigation systems to enhance reliability and redundancy. This development is a strategic response to geopolitical challenges and a testament to Russia's technological capabilities. The transition of GLONASS from a domestically focused, restricted navigation system to a competitive global technology is indicative of broader trends in Russian technological advancement. Initially developed as a strategic alternative to GPS, the navigation system has evolved into a sophisticated system that is now crucial to Russia's technological infrastructure. The narrative is not solely concerned with satellite navigation. It also pertains to Russia's unwavering endeavors to cultivate autonomous technological capabilities in a multifaceted global context. Now, do you think Russia can now easily block all GPS signals over its territory in the event of a future war? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.